Buenas tardes, damas y caballeros, buen aprendizaje, mesdames y messieurs. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sung Hoon Kim, and I'll be your MC for this event. I would like to, you, to welcome you to the International Civil Aviation Organization's 40th Assembly Sky Talks. Over the course of a two-week period, we have 68 presentations for you from aviation industry experts and professionals, and uh, I would welcome you to come check out our ICAO uh, site on uh, YouTube. Um, we continue, this is actually day five, session number nine, and we continue our topic on uh, big data. And today we're gonna tell, talk about the, more specifically about the aviation benefits on a national economy. Our presenter today will be uh, Sija Chen. Please welcome Sija. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, welcome to the Sky Talk on Aviation Benefits. It's really a pleasure for me to be here today to um, explain to you the work of IHLG and its initiative in showcasing the aviation benefits. So what is IHLG? Um, for some of you in this room, it might be the first time to hear this word. IHLG is the acronym uh, stands for Industry High Level Group. Its members include um, the Secretary General of ICAO and uh, the heads of four international organizations, which are ACI, Airport Council International, Council, the Civil Air Navigation Services Organization, and IATA, International Air Transport Association, and ICCAIA, the International Coordinating Council of Aerospace Industries Associations. <laughs> the in IHOG was um, established with the initiative for ICAO to work closely with the industries on matters that of global importance for uh, international civil aviation, which can be better addressed by um, in a collaborative way between the states and the industries than working individually. In the last triennium, the IHLG has focused on its efforts on uh, promoting the benefits of aviation. Uh, under this initiative, um, the IHLG organization collaborated to develop a publication named as Aviation Benefits Report. Uh, the first report was published in 2017 and has been well received by aviation stakeholders around the world. <coughs> The second edition, which is 2019 edition, was just launched last week by the heads of IHLG organization as a sideline of the ICAO assembly. The report now is available for download on the website of all IHLG's organizations. And here it shows the uh, website, the link to download from ICAO's, uh, the report, to download the report from <coughs> ICAO's website. I've also bring with me some of the copies today. So if you are interested in seeing the report, please feel free to come and grab a copy. The Aviation Benefits Report provides a comprehensive insight on showcasing how aviation is supporting the social economic development. It also includes a checklist with recommended steps on how to advance the role of aviation and maximizing its socioeconomic benefits. I would now show you some of the highlights that were presented in the report in terms of the how aviation is supporting the socioeconomic development. Let's first look how aviation has evolved from the past to present. Aviation continues to grow and expand from a long-term historical perspective. Aviation has doubled its size in every 15 years and has grown faster than many other industries. In 2018, um, the in, uh, air transport carried 4.3 billion passengers and 58 million tons of freight on over 38 million uh, commercial scheduled flights. This means that every day, there are over 100,000 flights transporting over 
10 million passengers, which is quite impressive. A key driver for the uh, air passenger traffic growth has been the reduction in the air travel cost. The cost of travel today <coughs> is 70% less than it was 50 years ago. Um, air travel is no longer a luxury commodity. Uh, it's becoming increasingly accessible to uh, more and more people with um, all, uh, different options of travel, such as low-cost options. Air connectivity is also quite dynamic and uh, continue to expand, and it truly connects all parts of the world seamlessly. The improved air con connectivity is at the heart of uh, social economic development, and many countries had come to realize this important role and, uh, become, and started to put aviation in their, uh, national, uh, in their development strategies priority. Not currently, ICAO manages over 12,000 global standards and uh, recommendations or practices in its 19 annex to the Chicago Convention. National regulations that follow these standards not only support the safety and security of the air transport system, but also ensure the economic viable operation in the market. So how has aviation been contributing to the economics? According to the recent estimates, the total economic impact of aviation is around 2.7 uh, trillion US dollars, which represents around 3.6% of the total world GDP. It also supports around 65.5 million jobs worldwide. And uh, many industries rely on the uh, reliable air transport links to function. For example, air trans uh, aviation supports tourism. The connectivity provided by air transport is at the heart of development of tourism, and it provides substantial benefits for all those ones that are re uh, evolved in the tourism value uh, generation. I would like to highlight that um, Currently, we have 1.4 billion international tourists uh, tr uh, annually, and more than half of these international tourists uh, actually arrive at their destinations by the air transport. Aviation is also a driver for global trade and e-commerce. E Aviation expand, allows the business to uh, reach, uh, to expand its business globally and allows products to reach to the market more uh, efficiently and faster. It also allows business to respond to the market needs and customer needs more efficiently. Um, I want to highlight something that air freight accounts only for less than 1% of world trade in terms of volume. However, in terms of value, it represents around 35% of world trade value. Uh, many of the goods that have been transported by uh, air are either um, high va with high value or time sensitive. Besides supporting economic development, aviation also generates uh, substantial social benefits. It allows people to get uh, to access what they need, such as food healthcare, education, and improving quality of life. Aviation by, air, trans by, air transport by far is the safest mode of uh, long range transportation. It safely connects passengers and business around the world. It also provides vital lifeline link to remote communities that otherwise will not be accessible and also helps to improve the quality of life by expanding culture exchanges and also um, allow people to visit friends and uh, families. Aviation also supports the health and uh, humanitarian aid. It provides uh, reliable and timely transportation to provide foods and health care to remote communities. Furthermore, um, for many students around the world to obtain higher education, 
It requires to travel abroad. In many cases, it means to travel to another side of the continent of the globe. So, without air transport, these opportunities will not be feasible. Aviation also supports the sustainable development of the United Nations. The attainment of the SDGs relies on the advancing of air transport, and many of the SDGs are related to air transport. ICAO, in this regard, is committed to seeking innovative way to support the sustainable development of um, uh, SDGs. To maximizing uh, aviation benefits, our industries has also been putting tremendous efforts in modernizing the aviation sectors to sustain its growth. According to ICAO's long-term traffic forecast, air traffic is uh, project to be projected to be double in size in 20 years. This requires substantial investment in modernizing and expanding the quality aviation infrastructure to sustain this growth. However, despite the social economic benefits of aviation, this has rarely translated into the investment that it requires to sustain its growth. A typical example is that uh, aviation only accounts for a 4.2% share of the official um, development assistance provided by do all donors uh, to the transport sector, and in comparison, the road transport accounted to around 55%. This is quite uh, big differences. Airports also welcome the uh, traffic growth, and airports development projects has been um, it's always considered as large in scale and has long term um, uh, time frame to from planning to uh, uh, completion. The key, the key consideration for air transport uh, for airport development projects is the create uh, value creation to both investors and passengers, as well as airlines and all other airport users. Many airports have also dedicated to provide stellar customer services by aligning their um, airport development. Uh, uh, development strategies with customer experience, uh, satisfaction experiences. Intermodal or multimodal connectivity with air transport is also at the heart of urban planning. And this initiative, um, I, ACI and IADA has initiated a new project called New Experience Travel Technologies Next, which aims to improve efficiency the customer experience and operational effectiveness by leveraging latest technology and innovative processes. Optimizing air traffic management is also vital to in, in facing the rapid traffic growth. Um, the air navigation service industries have also been dedicated in the development of optimizing the air traffic management services, for example, uh, by providing the satellite-based surveillance and tracking of aircraft, and also the automation of air traffic management. Aerospace and aircraft manufacturing industries have also been thinking to provide more efficient aircraft to sustain the future growth. Air modern aircraft nowadays is 80% more fuel efficient than it was in 1960s, and this trend continues to uh, uh, expand. Aviation has also been putting um, efforts in developing technologies and innovations and creating substantial uh, benefits to wider economy. For every 100 million US dollars of spending on research and development, uh, it generates additional 70 million US dollars in terms of the GDP. And aerospace is also uh, driving the development of new technologies, which can be used by other sectors. So, leading aviation for the future, 
The future of aviation growth will, uh, depends on a viable economy, which also um, requires a strong international community and healthy environment. Um, in, in order to lead aviation for the future, the IHLG organization would call all the stakeholders to work together in, and place their highest commitment to maximizing the benefits of the aviation in a sustainable manner, which is safe, secure, economic, uh, economically viable, and environmentally responsible. With this, I will uh, close my presentation today and thank you for your attention. I would encourage you to download the report from our IHLG organization's website. Thank you. Would anybody have any questions for uh, Sija? Well, thanks again. Thank Good you. Job.